Hello, it's Devin here, and I thought I'd just do a quick update on my Behind Enemy Lines project. The first thing is, I should say, is Jerrican has officially joined me on this project, so he's got his um, first couple of videos up, so I'll make sure I link that. And he's looking, his stuff is looking really interesting, and he's got some awesome uh, basing uh, techniques that he's using to for his... Uh, what do you call them? For his weapon teams. That's it. Uh, I've got just too many individual infantry guys. Um, <laughs> so his stuff's good. If you haven't seen it already, um, you should go and check it out. Um, and also on um, on his hundred subscribers, I I won third runner-up. I think that's how it technically. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I don't uh, win competitions very often, so. Uh, that's uh, exciting so we'll we'll see uh, when that turns up I'll do a little unboxing of them um, yes uh, so actually on to what we're here to talk about um, I've settled on the colors that I'm going to do the uh, the, the, the denizen smock in um, you can see with the guy with the grenade he's the first guy I did compared to the medic here that um, like the base color of his jacket is much lighter. Now the medic's not finished, so um, there's some little details on him that needs to be worked on. Um, but you can sort of see the basically the smock, the difference in the smock, and I'm much happier with the one on the medic. And I've been able to reproduce that on other guys, and I'm pretty comfortable with that. Um, I've started doing the berets on a few of them um, doing them a bit brighter red um, oh, there we go stay focused and probably what they actually are but that's so um, they stand out a bit more um, just put a little aerial on this guy that's just a bit of fishing line pretty thick fishing line actually um, but it'll do I might paint that green uh, so that's where I'm up to. I've done most of these guys. I've got at least the the base pattern happening on their jackets. Um, you can see with this guy on the green and brown splotches, I've got to do a wash on those individual bits and then come back and highlight them. Um, but it's pretty good. I'm liking how that's look, looking. Um, and if you have a quick look over here, these are all the paints I'm using. Um, there's a few of them so well, for now anyway I'm happy with the uh, the scheme color scheme that I'm uh, yeah that I've come up with and um, I'm happy I can reproduce it so unless it becomes too difficult I won't change it but there's a fair few different paints involved and a lot of them are blended with the other ones and ah, it's all about the fun so have fun in your hobbying and I'll talk to you next time.